Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day. So this is a clip from a previously recorded video. This is a much shorter clip of it. But as always, not financial advice for entertainment only. Do your own research. And I'm Invest Applying Closing Companies. And if you enjoy this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe. Helps me out tremendously. And let's get into the clip. Finally, let's take a look at Marathon here really quick as well. So Marathon also had a fantastic uh, May production. And here's what it says. So Marathon Digital Holdings announces Bitcoin production and mining operation updates for May 2023. Produced a record 1,245 Bitcoins in May uh, 2023 and 4,141 BTC year to date. So that's good. Increased operational hash rate 9% to 15.2 exahash and installed hash rate 13% to 20.1 exahash in May of 2023. So they are, they have quite a bit, about almost 5 exahash that they just need to energize and get ready to mine. Um, so that might be coming in here in June. We'll see if that happens. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they raised also nearly 800,000 for Bitcoin core developers in collaboration with Brink. This was, I thought this was great for them to do. Um, this definitely helps out the core developers. And then reported unrestricted cash and cash equivalents of 97.3 million and increased unrestricted Bitcoin holdings to 12,259. Re valued roughly about 333 million as of May 31st, which is also pretty good there, which is really good. Uh, which is the biggest huddle that, uh, out of all the miners here, except for Hut 8 is pretty close up there as well. Okay, management commentary. We produced a record 1,245 Bitcoin in May, up 77% from last month and 30, 366% from May of 2022, which is a nice improvement there, very nice improvement. Uh, the increased production was due to an increase in hash rate and a significant increase in transaction fees, which accounted for approximately 11.8% of the total Bitcoin we earned in the last month, said Fred Thiel. The emergence of ordinals significantly increased transaction fees in May which in some cases were so high that they exceeded the 6.25 BTC block reward. Yeah, we've seen block rewards where they were getting 13 total. Block rewards were around thir 12, 13, somewhere around there at the high end. Uh, and then with our scale and our improved uptime during the month, we were able to capitalize on this opportunity. While such abnormally high transaction fees are historically rare, we believe these events can serve as a positive sign for the future of Bitcoin mining economics, which I agree. So eventually, in 100 years or so, Bitcoin is basically not going to be mined. I mean, you're going to be mining fractions of Bitcoin, uh, basically Satoshis at that point. And it is, it is believed that by that time, the transaction fees will account for the majority of the revenue that these guys are making uh, instead of rewards. All right? So we need, depending on where Bitcoin price is at, everything else, we may need to be processing maybe, I don't know what that number is going to be, 15, 20 million if not higher, per day on the network uh, itself. Okay, possibly even way higher than that. Basically, in 100 years, inflation, everything else, probably looking more like 100 million or something like that. Okay, so that's all the numbers that we have here. You guys can look over this, some of the highlights, uh, donation thing. So we have all the information that we need, their exahash and what they mined. They did sell a little bit here, I believe. Let's see here. They sold, well, we'll get into it here. Based on my calculations, these are what they sold. Okay, so that's that one. Let's take a look at Marathon here. Where are they? Marathon. Got a lot of stuff here. There we go. Marathon. Okay, scroll to the top. Marathon has about 167 million shares outstanding. Stock price is about $9.97 and change. Market cap is about $1.6 million. Their current hash rate is 15.2. Total hash rate is supposed to be at 24.3. They still have about 60% growth left on them. And you can see here that the stock has done pretty good here in the last 12 weeks. So about 12 weeks ago, it's up 67%. Eight weeks, it's up 11.9. Four weeks, not so good. Four, negative 14.9. And then one week, negative 2.27. BTC production, you can see that they have uh, definitely bottomed out here in July of, of last year. 72 Bitcoins per month. Had a nice increase here towards October 615. Then they fell down a little bit and they started to climb back up here. March was 825. April was 702. And now 1245 for May, which is really, really good. Okay, you can see the other charts over here. Monthly difference of Bitcoin mined, 543 increase from the prior month, which is great to see. Bitcoin HODL has also been growing here. They reached 12,232 in December. Sold, so started selling some in January, February, March, and April, and May. They sold, it looks like, about 554 Bitcoins in May right now, but that uh, stack is still starting to grow for them. So that's good. Then Bitcoin uh, BTC per exahash efficiency at 81.9. They did install quite a bit of miners here. That, that's always going to hurt them a little bit. Hash rate, you can see here that they've uh, had a nice, nice increase in hash rate ever since of last year, since June, June and July. They definitely upped it uh, to 3.2 exahash, 3.7, 7, 
7.3, 9.5, 11.5, 14, 15.2. Those are massive growths for them. So that's great to see. And you can also see that in being reflected in the revenue. So they were at July of 1.5 million in revenue only. They got up to 12.08 in October, came down a little bit here in November, December. They've done some curtailing during that period of time. And then you can see here how it's continuing to go up here for the most part, except for April was a little bit down month for them. But now we're looking at about 34 million in revenue for them for the month of May alone, which is huge. Hash rate difference, you can see all the hash rate increases that they've seen here. Bitcoin sold, they sold a lot in January, 30 million. And then they've been averaging about 16 to 15 million or so uh, through the last four months, roughly. Now, you can also see the last four quarters of revenue here. We've talked about this in the past. This current quarter looks like it's going to be about 85.9 million in revenue, almost 100 million. Uh, that's a huge, huge, huge improvement for them from where they were in Q3 of last year, 12.69 million. Uh, and then last four quarters of operating costs have increased a little bit here, but well, doubled from Q4. But that's mostly because of the amount of hash rate that they have online now. So that's always going to trigger things. Okay, you guys can look at other things here as well. We'll get back to these institutions have increased here to 322. Shares also increased to 55.5 million shares. That represents about 33.24% of their shares. We still have one strong buy rating, two buy ratings, three hold ratings. Price target is $20 uh, to $14.30 and $8 for the low. And then let's take a look at the raw data here. For May, it looks like they installed, based on my numbers here, roughly about uh, 8,575 miners, give or take a little bit here, of the 140 terahash miners, the XPs. That got them to the 15.2 exahash, and we had to add to them 1.9 million in revenue to get them to the number of 34.2 million, which is calculated based on the amount of Bitcoin that they mined, um, average Bitcoin price as it was. We're looking at, what was it, over here, yep, 34.236, do I have that, 34.236? 34,236, yep, so about 1.94 million to them. And they could have curtailed some during the month as well. I don't know that. It makes it a little bit more difficult when they add machines. Uh, and then especially with the transaction fees being added to it, it makes it even more difficult to figure out where did they actually curtail, how much did they curtail, or anything like that. So this is just the best I could figure out. I'm guessing they probably curtailed a little bit more, considering, the, uh, considering that uh, CleanSpark got 2.1 million roughly in transaction fees, I'm sure they probably got more than that and probably just curtailed some more. I could probably do the numbers a little bit here to get them down to 30 days or something like that. As you can see here that they were they've curtailed for the most part every single month here. They were 21 days of mining in April, 26 days in May, uh, in March, sorry, 23 days in February. So if we bring them down to that put average around there, around maybe like 25 days or something like that, then we would see this number pop back up much higher based on that. Okay, but this is kind of just the only way I could calculate it really. Okay, so that's how that's being calculated. So you guys are aware of that. And let's take a look at the numbers that I do have here for them. So currently I have them at current quarter about 85.9 million. Let me see if that's correct here. I'm not playing the right, yep, 85.9 million roughly. And then we're using the last three quarters of data, which is uh, actual numbers. That's 92.2 million. So combined total is gonna to be 178 million roughly for the last four quarters or this quarter in the last three. 50% net income from gross revenue, we're looking at $10.64 with a P of 20. And then 75% net income, we're looking at $15.97. They're at $9.99. I think they are pretty, I think I think they are still undervalued from where they should be really uh, with the hash rate that they do have and everything else. So that's with the P of 20, $10.64. They're at nine, almost $10. I think they're undervalued. I think they could be catching a little bit more of a premium as well instead of a P of 20. I think they might be able to get up to P30, which would get us to about 1597 to 2395, which would be on the higher end of, well, pretty close to that uh, institution's NLS ratings of $20 to $8 in range, somewhere around there. So that's kind of where I'm looking at. I think they are still undervalued, but we'll see how the stock does. I think once they get up to the numbers and they provide some good, uh, good quarters, good months and everything else going forward, I think it, stock will do better going forward, especially if Bitcoin goes up. All right, so Bitcoin goes up in value, these guys will definitely do really well. Okay, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We'll obviously chat down there, and I think that is it. Other than that, as always, the spreadsheet is available to my Patreon members. Thank you to everyone there for their continued support. Uh, also, thank you to all the YouTube members as well. I'll get these out to you guys, if not tonight, uh, tomorrow at the latest.